Hey there, everyone. We're beginning in the Atlantic. We're watching Hurricane Nigel now down to a Category 1 hurricane. Winds of 90 miles an hour moving to the north at a pretty good clip, moving at 18 miles an hour. It is starting to work its way up towards the north over cooler water, some wind shear, so it is expected to get weaker and weaker as we head into the next several days. No real threat to land. It'll just work its way into the North Atlantic, and then that'll be that as far as Nigel goes. But we're also watching another wave coming off of Africa. This one has a 70% chance of spinning up into a tropical depression or storm as we head into the next several days. About a 70% chance, so we'll continue to watch that. The next name is Ophelia. And closer to home, we have a front sitting right on top of the peninsula. And over the next day or so, an area of lower pressure is expected to form along that front late Thursday into Friday. May pick up some tropical characteristics. The Hurricane Center giving it about a 30% chance. Either way, it's going to work its way up towards the Carolinas. And on the back Backside of that system, much drier air will spill southward into our area as we head towards Friday and the weekend. In the meantime, a live look outside. There's the lighthouse. If you're going boating, do watch out for some of those late day storms. Otherwise, 82 in Vero, 85 in the Palm Beach is 86 right now in Boca. We do have lots of sunshine across the area, but as the day goes on, the sea breezes will start to interact and we're going to start to see those showers and those thunderstorms start to develop. Now, there's the front sitting on top of us. Tomorrow, the front stays with us. So once again, we'll have another stormy day, but then notice that there's that area of lower pressure developing. And then by the time we get to Friday, it is offshore. We'll be on the backside of that area of lower pressure, creating that northerly flow, which will help to bring down that drier air. So today and tomorrow, with the front sitting on top of us, we do have a high chance of seeing those storms. Flooding rains will be the biggest threat, and then we're considerably drier as we head towards Friday. So here's Vipercast. Notice around 2, 3 in the afternoon, the storms are starting to crank on up into mainly Palm Beach County, according to Vipercast. Then they're going to start to spread up to the north, some heavy rain into the Treasure Coast. By 9 p.m., most of the stormy weather on the western side of the lake. And as we approach midnight, still a few showers around. But at that point in time, we lose the daytime heating and we start to dry out. All right, so if you're going boating, inland waters today, a moderate chop. Otherwise, seas at 2 to 3 feet. And here's your first alert seven-day forecast. Today, tomorrow, you'll need those umbrellas as we head into the afternoon hours. But by Friday and as we head into the weekend, we are much drier.